You guys aren't scared? Hold on. Cut this. I'm literally acting like the creepiest Halloween prop of all time, and you guys aren't scared. Not in the slightest. <sighs> I wish I had it. I really wish I could zombie swing girl appear in my hands right now. Whoa! Whoa. Jesus! Is this what I think it might be? <gasps> It's Bobby K, and today I'll be unboxing the Zombie Swing Girl from Spirit Halloween 2012, I think. Maybe 2013, but I think it was 2012. Let's get right into it. So, first of all, how did you all like that intro? It's actually being filmed after I unbox this because, let me actually feel how heavy this is. Pretty heavy. I didn't want to do that with her in the box, so I decided to do it after I unboxed her, and here we are now. So, um, yeah, it says it fully works, but there is no original box. So, imagine the opposite happens and we get the original box. She's broken. Oh God, this tape is tough. I mean, packaging tape kind of has to be tough. Am I even cutting along the line? I don't want to destroy the box because I do need it for the intro. And I don't want to destroy her inside because I need her because I paid 250 something dollars. So I don't want to destroy the box or what's in the box. Believe it or not, I would not like to do either of those things. I'm actually scared. Like, for some reason I feel like all my life, I never thought I'd go a day seeing this thing in person. Yet here we are. Today is the day that we are seeing, as I said in the intro, the most terrifying Halloween prop of all time. I'm not going to look yet. I'm just get, getting the black off. We're good. I'm surprised these flaps aren't opening. Let me show you guys. You know what? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think they, they didn't take her apart. Oh, these, these foam. First of all, this foam is metallic. That's really cool. We could use that for something. But they didn't take her apart. Like, I believe her head is supposed to come off. I think. Yeah. Here's her head. Oh, does it turn from her head? That piece doesn't turn. Here's her head. This thing is creepy. Kind of smaller than I thought it would be, but still freaking creepy. Got the classical YJ eyes. Her hair is kind of crusty. Looks like they hair sprayed it. It's just staring at you. And they got more of that foam. We could use this in the haunt, maybe. Got cardboard. I don't even know if they know that it comes apart. Yeah, we got the uh, swinging mech in there. I did not even know that the feet were latex. I thought they were plastic. So let me try to get this whole piece out of here. Hmm. Hold on, I'm going to put it on her side. Too bad it doesn't have the original box. I would have loved it too. Um, but I'll probably just keep her in this box and write zombie swing girl on the side. Oh God. Yeah, she's not coming out. Oh God. 
Also, guys, at some point in the future, I'm planning on doing a remake on the uh, Ghost Swing. I love that prop. It is creepy, though I don't like, like, it's dialogue. So, I think I'm going to try to make it myself for cheaper than it actually sold for. I think it was, like, 70 bucks or something, maybe 80 when it first came out. I'll have to check the wiki. I'll put it up on screen. But eventually, I'd like to try to make that myself. Yeah, she is not budging. I wonder if I was, like, supposed to open it from the other way. Okay, it was caught on something. You guys can kind of see her now. Ooh. Hold on, let me angle ca the camera down a little more. I don't know if I can. Yeah, that's as far down as we're going to get it. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, there's another piece of cardboard in here. Oh, now her head isn't looking at you. Gotta have it so that the head is staring right at you. You know, is the motor, the motor might be in the head because this piece turns. Okay. Let me just try to pull from a hard plastic piece in there. I also didn't know her legs were on springs. That's new. What is this piece? Is this like a custom piece to her? Or is this broken and they had to repair it? Well, let's see. All the all of it is tangled off. Is, is there anything else? Nope. So she's sitting on top of some stuff. So hold on, let me get that out. I got free fallen by, I think, is it Tom Petty? I don't remember. So that's zip tie on there, underneath. So it has to kind of be like that. So, I don't like how they did this, the power cord all like this. It could have been unplugged and put very much neater in the box. So then this goes through here. I don't know. So, but what I do know is this is a creepy prop. A very creepy prop. And see this too. Why is this here? They taped that on there, I guess. And this is this the adapter? Why would you why would you zip tie the adapter? I'm confused. Well, there were no instructions. Huh. Yeah, the seller didn't really do that well here. So this plugs in somewhere over there. What is this? Where does it go? I don't know. What did they do? Poor zombie swing girl. I'll bring you into good conditions. So what is this? Where does it go to? Maybe they, did they customize her? I don't know what this wire does. And I can't really get into here. And what's this white wire? It's taped to that black wire and now I got sticky stuff on my hand. Uh... Her hands were also latex. I, I expected those to be plastic. So. Yeah, I, I have no idea what model this is. Let me try to see. 
how she'll look when she's actually up here swinging. And it doesn't have the hook that uh, hangs her, so that was not specified. And did she have a constant mode? Or does she have to keep going on a sensor? I don't know. Though her face is creepy, but realistic and very creepy. Let me try to put it in here. Just like it was in the picture. It's still turned to the side. Turn. I think it's in. <laughs> I could make a meme out of that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to need to hang her up before I continue. So I will have to find a spot to hang her. And then I'll be right back. Okay, she's out in the garage hanging up. I'm going to adjust her clothes because they weren't that great. I didn't bring the tripod out here because I did think I was just going to be plugging her in. Because I forgot adjusting all the cloth was a thing. If you hear that creaking, it's because, so for our haunt, hold on, she's like tilted a lot like look at that look at that tilt um but it's the creaking is that wood up there so when she's moving around so i'm gonna close this door because it's letting in all the cold air but i got the plug right here and should we plug her in yes yes we should Nothing. She got a sensor. Oh, there she goes. That that you see her swing, that's all the swinging mechanism. Her head resetting. That's a sound mode. Is there a whatchamacallit mode? A um constant mode? I think there is. Let me see back here. That switch, I think it's stuck. Oh, never mind. I think that's a constant mode. That's so creepy. She doesn't have volume control. If anyone knows what version this is that I got, please tell me down in the comments below. Like these old swinging mechanisms, they really work well. They're kind of loud, but like I feel like this swinging mechanism is better than Harriet's. I feel like I have to keep recording her because it's so creepy. I'm gonna go turn off the garage lights. Yeah, we still got stuff here from the haunt. Oh, that's so creepy. Who votes we should keep her right there in the garage on here? <laughs> That'd be really cool, though. Thank you. 
destroyed a bit. So I can't imagine what would happen if we got that actually all the way scratched down. So that's really cool. Uh, I will film a really cool demo afterwards. Uh, out like by my actual swings. But yeah. Bye for now, I guess. Yeah, I guess bye, because after the demo, I'll just cut the video and it'll end.